Okay, let's move the drone. Open the door and move forward. Look to the left. Operate. Ah! Duskers is a survival drone operation simulator in space with the typing controls. The story is you are perhaps the last human being left in the universe that has suddenly become completely empty. But you have some very loyal drones that are going to explore the derelict ships, brave all the dangers and gather the resources you need to survive and hopefully solve the mystery. And you can move on the solar system. Actually, you can go out to the galaxy and even the universe. And it's a big unknown world. Mm -hmm. And you feel alone there. Mm -hmm. But you have a drone. So you have a three drones that you can take to your mission. And these drones are essential because you cannot get out of the ship. Only your drones can. And in the space, there are some ships, wrecks. It's like a graveyard. Mm -hmm. So you can get to those ships or to the space stations and explore them. But you are not alone. There are not other humans yet. There are monsters or other robots. And viruses. And yes. Yep. And your drones have no weapons at the beginning. They can acquire some weapons later, much later, because at the beginning, they are very defenseless. Which means that you need to outsmart the enemies, usually by blocking them into a room where there are some defenses, or you trap them there, or you can open an airlock that then just launches them out into space. There are pros and cons to all of these approaches, and you need the right drones with the right skills to make any of them work. But what this game makes so unique is how you control it. Because yes, you can control your drones with an arrow keys, but every action, every door to open, you have to type in. Mm -hmm. So it's more like a typing control or mm -hmm. typing simulator in this way. This makes it feel a lot like the text adventures from the 80s and you're typing in open door D4 and move forward into the room and things like this. But there is a pretty limited number of commands and you actually manage to make it feel natural pretty quickly. There's a tutorial, so it will teach you everything you need. And you have a two point of view. The first one is the drone itself. And the second one is the overall map where you can see which rooms you need to uh, discover. And some of your drones have certain skills, like for example, scan, which can tell you which uh, room can have a danger in it. The skills on the drones are really important and you can, as you get more skills, you can switch them back and forth to get the right team for the right situation, but you can still get stuck pretty quickly and that means there are roguelite elements in this game. Sometimes you just get in a corner that you can't get out of or your drones get destroyed and you're going to have to restart, usually back before you started that ship, which in the beginning is not a big deal because they're small, but you can end up starting to get pretty far into ships that are really big and you lose a lot of progress if you don't manage to get out alive. But the goal of this game is basically explore the universe to see if there's any other humans left. And while doing that, you need resources for your ship. You need to repair your drones as well. So you're gonna gather a lot of loot to repair everything and to move forward a fuel that you need to explore more of the universe. And at the best of times, that means that every decision you make about what to upgrade, which rooms to enter, how much risk to take, becomes a question of survival. And one wrong decision at the wrong moment could really make everything fall apart extremely quickly. But if you don't take that risk, you might not be able to survive to the next ship. So there is a tension between every decision that can be quite engaging. Okay, I think that's it. And let's go to Should, should you, you Play it? it? But first, you should know that this game is completely free from the Epic Game Store for one week only, the week starting February 23rd, 2023. You can add it to your library and keep it forever, install it whenever you want. And that is what we do on this channel. Every week we play and review the free games from the Epic Game Store so you never have to waste time with bad games ever again. And this game looks very minimalistic on the pictures when I first saw it. I thought this is not going to be the game for me, but mm -hmm. actually 
It is more interesting than it looks. Mm -hmm. It is super confusing at the beginning yeah. when you take the tutorial. But if you go through it and take the first two missions, you're going to find out there's more to it. It uh, Other reviews says it's more like a horror, but I found the exploring the most interesting part. Maybe thriller. You don't know what's going to happen next. And it's not procedurally generated, but you can uh, you, you can decide which ships you're going to or wrecks you're going to visit next and it's similar enough especially with the uh, keyboard with the typing uh, system mm -hmm. if you're going to play it alone like in the dark with like highlighted keyboard that could be pretty cool and i think maybe because the visual is so minimalistic i think your brain works better on more like a ima imaginative mm -hmm, part. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, yes, I'm actually going to say you should try it. Even if you think you're not going to like it, you should try it, especially now when it's free. About buying it, I would hesitate, but as a free game, I would definitely try it because you never played anything like it before. That is true. Um, I am torn in a okay. way that I have never been torn for a review before. Yes. Uh, because we've we've played it enough for me to be able to say it is not for me. It is not a bad game mm -hmm. and it is interesting and engaging, but I just don't find it to be immersive enough. And what people are talking, I can understand that it immerses you in that feeling yeah. that you are lost in space just yeah. controlling drones, but that didn't really grab me. And so it, I'm more stuck on the frustration of trying to type things and figure out, okay, I go there, I type this, and it felt more like a puzzle game with a it typing did. simulator. It did, but that's what I liked. I, yeah, and I think that's perfectly fine, and some people will like it. I, I'm not going to be playing more of it, and I don't think that I would recommend it as, a, as an entertaining game. I, just, I did not find it that entertaining compared to mm -hmm. the options that we okay. have out there, but... You're right. I think it is so unique it and is. it is so different than what you think when you see it mm -hmm. that it, now that it's free, it is worth trying it for the experience of yes. how creative a game can be. Um, if you're looking for your next favorite game that you're going to spend 100 hours in, this is not it. Well, actually, one review on Steam, <laughs> you can search for it. There's a guy who spent... 1600 hours on this game and then reviewed it yeah and yeah. he said yes by the way <laughs> that's fair enough yeah there was other guy who spent like 300 on it and he said no so so michael i'm not sure how you're going to do the thumbs up thumb down thing for me but okay i don't think you should play it but i do think you should try it oh, that's interesting that's a new okay. one right that's a right. new one okay. let us know in the comments what you think about that okay. opinion because th it's true i've never played anything yeah. like this and in a good way okay i think that's interesting yeah Anyway, if you thought this is a typing simulator, this is not. But no. actually, recently we had a typing game we did. that was called Epistory. It's pretty good. And you can check out our review of that next because that is the game that could really teach you how to fast uh, type. And once you learn how to type really fast, then you'll be more prepared for this one. That is not a typing simulator, but it's going to yeah. help you if you can type as quickly as possible. See you next time. Bye. Bye.